Hey guys, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a multi boot USB stick for Linux. So, to start off, you need to go to netboot.xyz.com. Check out the link in, its, in the description. Uh, check out the article that I wrote, and it will explain how you can make a USB system to load it up. So, in this video here, I'm going to have to do it through a virtual machine, which means I won't be burning a USB stick, but the instructions are laid out in the article, but we're just going to be going over the menu and the app itself. So I'm going to start up a VM and we will get started. So when you place the Netboot USB stick or ISO on a DVD, if you've gone that way, it loads up and it's a IPXC ISO. So it doesn't actually have a whole lot of stuff on it. It's only like 32 uh, megabytes. It's configuring our network connection and it's going to load all of this information and once we get it there we see a bunch of different information you can load linux installs bsd installs free dos excuse me live boot security and windows so given that i mostly talk about linux we need to select the linux option so from here you can choose from arch linux centos debian fedora magia manjaro OpenSUSE, ubuntu alpine and tergos core os dev1 gen2 ip fire nix os Rancher, Rancher OS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Scientific, Slackware, and Tiny Core Linux. So because it's so light, I'm going to do Arch Linux. So when I select Arch Linux, I can select the latest release, and it will download directly from the Rackspace mirror that it has, the IPXE, and it will boot in and give me exactly what I need. So it's gonna, I don't need to sit down and create an Arch Linux ISO, and uh, this is actually handy to have because it's really small, so it's like a 32 megabyte file if you remember when you made the USB stick. But uh, if you use multiple Linux distributions or you don't really have a lot of space, this is a go-to for reinstalling. And uh, especially doubly useful because Arch Linux doesn't exactly have a, uh, a traditional installer, so this is a quick way you can easily grab and uh, mess with the terminal on any computer with less than a less than a gigabyte less than uh, 500 megabytes even so uh, just gotta wait for it to download and we will check it out so now that the PXE server is done downloading we can see that we've loaded directly into Arch Linux and we're running it straight off of the netboot system and this is how it works it's really really cool uh, you can reboot it at any time and I, I will do that right now and uh, you can select anything else um, it all it matters is that it uh, that you can load IPXE you have an internet connection and uh, it also lets you load BSD and Windows stuff like I showed you at the start so definitely something that I would recommend checking out netboot.xyz very very useful tool uh, I hope you guys liked this video about netboot uh, we're just gonna load it back up into the menu see it's it's super super cool I really like this thing anyways guys I got to get going. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.